All right. We're starting in Battlefield. So this is the Grand Finals. So he comes out on top. Maybe SDA would have helped Kaiser this pair, but... Alright, some heavy pressure. Both teams relatively even so far. Oh, you know what to talk about. There's so much going on. Uh, is Bayonetta? Nope. Bayonetta is going to see get that camp on Frozen. Let's not try to get damage on Kegley so that maybe you can kill him with that crow, it looks like. Bayonetta is sort of an interesting case in double. She's not like busted, but she's powerful enough where. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, because her combos go so high up. Oh, and um, she has the ace. Um, That's unfortunate. Poor yeah. Blue team. So, like, your teammate can't really combo break easily with him because of her. You know, going so high up. Right. Um, I'm just thinking that they're more separated because Kekulis can get combos and Valor can camp and get yeah. some damage. It looks like Valor is playing very defensive. That's how you're supposed to play Sonic, I think? Yeah, you, you can either play like super aggression rush down with him, or super camp. That back here from Sonic, from Valor, against Frozen, oh. and then retaliates with it on the smash by Frozen. Alright, making the stocks. Well, not quite even up yet, but taking the lead. And that Nair will take it. Okay, the stocks now even. And they just did a combo, trying to bring Mario off the top, but he escapes him. Succeeds in escaping. Bayonetta going for combos, uh, pressure, and, okay. barely making him back alive. Valor stalling for Bayonetta, I think. Yep, they're taking Bayonetta's stock. So now Bayonetta is down to her last. Valor still has two. He's probably going to be stocked anything for her, but we'll see. Depends if, if, if Red Team gets an early camp on Valor. Yeah. One, because Bayonetta is definitely a more in the department of like kill power and, you know, just kind of just, you know, just good damage. So it makes perfect sense. If, you know, stop because, you know, the power is And then you Sometimes a basic combo, but this is pretty so complex. Uh, frozen at, at max rage. Hopefully oh. you can use it. It's the up B, but... There you go, text it. And four top will take it for Sonic. Yeah. Evening up the stocks. But both everyone except for Mario is at kill percent. Oh, takes down Bayonetta with an up air, and then Sonic again. Takes the stock the last possible second. I think that was better for Bayonetta because Well yeah. For a PB1, because Sonic's just gonna camp and can't really do it with two people. Well, and then Witch Time is a thing. Definitely. Bayonetta combos are also a thing. For some reason, Best is, uh, is approaching. I mean, is that 5%? I'm guessing <gasps> that it's works. The up B. I was thinking to see that higher percentage, he should stay back. But he does have two stocks. Yeah. And being at a higher percent simultaneously an advantage and a disadvantage. Right, because, because of rage. Well, and and also because like the moves that are needed, you know, be landed to kill. Mm -hmm, like the rocket. I don't know if he would have died if it was without rage, but with rage, that definitely helped killing Bayonetta. It most likely would. It's it can kill like twenty percent. Yeah. Or I just remember seeing it could. Uh, 
I don't know if like patches or whatever, but yeah, that was basically death guaranteed no matter what. Especially with how, where Bayonetta was, it was like, yeah. yeah. Good old days of playing 2v2 for glory and just spamming up B with uh, Ness. Nobody can deal with it because no friendly fire. Playing around, I think. I don't know. Um, it looks like he's just kind of like trying to make a barrier so uh, Mario could charge Flood. That makes sense. I don't he's... think Flood can uh, hit, can heal Ness, right? I don't think so. The, no. There's no damage. Um, yeah, it doesn't do damage. But uh, Fireball can. And it's yeah, it's not counting as like. I don't know if there's like a what it's actually listed as, but I was. Call it like um, energy. It absorbs like energy-based things or whatever. Are usually you know projectiles. Any, I think you can heal off of B, uh, whatever it's called, could be flash, I believe. Yeah, he can. Yeah. So, but flood because it's water and it doesn't do any damage. Right. It's just uh, it's not bad. Yeah. It's just floods really nice for doubles and especially good against. Um, not, it's not like particularly great against either of these two characters, but it can mess them up and lead to punches, but it's not as good for the offstage game as like, you know, Mar or Ike. Right, and then Sonic takes forward smash. Forward smash. Uh, and then back throw by Ness. Yeah, so... Uh, Valor in a, in a uh, edge guard, but survives. Yeah, so far the game's extremely well. It's even. So, could go either way. Combo both of them. Right there. And then up smash by Mario picks Sonic stuff. This is the only person so far that doesn't. Oh, and he gets them both in the combo, but. And then oh, has SDs. I'm guessing if he had that other up B, then he could have killed Ness, but instead he has to. Well. I think, yeah, he just missed. Yeah. Oh, that multi hit. That's a punish because of which time didn't last too long. I think it was because he hit, uh, he hit Bayonetta. If you hit Bayonetta, then the, which time will end? Mario died from from Ness's up air, I think, right? Um, I think it also. I'm not sure if it goes like because I know grab. No, not grab. I don't know. Oh, shield breaks. I don't know if it works like a shield break, where shield breaks, they last longer than level the percent. I'm not sure if which time is like that at all. Uh, which time, yes. Like, if, if Bayonetta connects down B. right off the top. If Bayonetta witch times and keeps on doing it, even though it doesn't connect, it will still stale, and it will reduce time. Which time's Ness, but he does, well... But that Nair connects it and yep. kills. Business. Oh, so the last block for everyone. Bayonetta at a high, high percentage. I think Bayon they're definitely gonna try to go for like a death combo with Bayonetta. I mean, oh, they're gonna down to down. Nice, mounts down to Valor. There's both of them. Let's see what Valor can do. We're doing his Sonic dash attack shenanigans. I'm pretty sure Sonic has a winning advantage with Ness. I don't know about Mario, but this is a 2v1 situation, so yeah. anything could happen. So it'll be tough for him to bring it back. Got forward air, connecting. But not killing him. See, I think he has a chance to, make, to bring it back, but it's slow. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> but then that pivot, uh, that up smash. pivot up smash on Mario. That was game two. I think so. Yeah. And then that's Ness and Frozen's favor. One twice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, if I knew how to update it, I would, but I don't think I'm trusted enough. Might hack in the computer and steal personal information, you know? It's pr pretty easy to change it on the other setup, on the side setup. Yeah, but I'm not gonna fiddle around with any computers today, okay. anytime soon. Because it was having difficulties early on this match. If yeah, Valor's thinking about changing characters, um, I'm not sure. He does have a corn, I think. 
Yep, it does. Let's I heard see. that from from Banana Boy. We'll see if his Corrin can turn things around. I'm pretty sure it is a better doubles character, but how much it would help, I because if this is the secondary. Normally, when you choose a secondary, it's normally weaker than your main. Well, yeah, but like you know. It's just that Corrin overall is better in doubles, and will bring more to this team in general, especially with her stuns, versus... Right. And then, uh, more kill power. Yeah. And, but, but instead of, uh, damage, you get kill power. Uh. However, yeah, because he's less comfortable. Oh, counters the up B. That was a great counter by Valor. Well, and like, Sonic was really good, but Sonic's a lot better suited for like, mind games and just being scary to approach, but that doesn't matter as much doubles. But, up air, just then back air. Both the blue team, uh, stocks were taken by red team. Yeah. Uh, red team's at high percentage, but not that bad. They could still live. Well, yeah, I mean... Team goes to make enough damage so that more things will kill. Yeah. Uh. I know Mario is at kill percent. Yeah, it looks like they both are now. Uh, Ness has died from an SD, I think, or oh. they couldn't live. It was like he couldn't really do anything. All right, they even out the stocks. In that and situation, he got the angle almost perfect, but he's off by like maybe two degrees. Yeah, unfortunate. Like, for death, for death Cause he he like went at the right angle, but because of how the like uh, the stage is shaped, it kind of pushed him a little further. Right. Vesna's got punished for that weird up But not too much. Yeah. I think he's gonna try to lead into a combo, but DI yeah, too far away, teammate. Uh, that was a good, a, a good, uh, back, a back nice air. nice back air is the name, mister. Yes, a nice back air by Ness against Bayonetta. Uh, that will... No, he's living. Yep. But... Oh, then another back throw. Takes it down. Oh, tries to go for the up B, but hits her shield instead of Ness. Going for a combo. Be, but... yeah, Red team having two extra stocks, but Bayonetta, uh, but Corn is at a good percentage. Bayonetta is a little bit in, in the mid percent. Yeah, I've noticed that Calculus is going very hard off stage. Like, I think Calculus is aggressive. Bayonetta, you think? Yeah, Bayonetta, like, Bayonetta has one of the best recoveries in the game. As long as you just don't use your double jump until you absolutely need it. Like, right. she can go, you know, down air off stage, go to the very bottom of the blast zone, I and then bring herself down. back up. Oh, oh and a counter great counter by Valor. Oh, he goes but, for the... Oh, that oh. saved him, that saved him. Mm -hmm. I think he was, I think he would have barely made it back, because, you know, life's not I, I don't think it would have. I think that side B saved him. Probably. Oh, gets a back air on Mario, evening out the stocks. However, they're still in the percent disadvantage. They need a high percentage, right. and also Corrin. Oh, gets Hopefully. a combo on Corrin. Not enough to kill her. They could make this comeback, but yeah. they're... Uh, and that's oh, a dead one. Gets a back air. Well, Valor versus Corrin. Corrin doesn't have the greatest options in this situation. And a four air, takes the game. And the that's set. Three and there. the tournament. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, it, they oh, reset the bracket. Yeah, they were losers. Yeah, so they reset the bracket. Six, six kills. No. Although there are single matches go singles matches going on. Here, I'm gonna go check pools. Well, there's good commentating. I might come back in a second. Yes. Um, I don't think you need to Oh, Valor bringing out the dock. Let's go.
came back. Uh, so Ma Mario takes a uh, up smashes Dr. Mario battle. Bayonetta trying to get an up air on Ness, doesn't connect, and gets off stage by Ness. Up smash by Dr. Mario against Ness. It doesn't take the stop. Ness takes Dr. Mario's last stop and pit and share stock by Magnet. Ness and Mario stocks have been taken, and Bayonets also have been, so it's a 2v1 situation. Let's see what Dr. Poet Valor can do against them, but they're at very low percentage, which is very unlikely. This is also secondary by uh, Valor, I think. King combo and then finally leading up to an up air by Ness killing Dr. Mario in game one for best Ness and Frozen. So this is Kofu on commentary here. All right, Kofu and Fusion coming live. Looking like a good double set. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Sorry, just moved one of the other headsets. Yeah, you're good. So, you know, these guys, looks like it's a reset. So I guess the Dark Pit up team, you know, they weren't feeling it anymore. They decided to switch back to their mains. So going much better. I mean, Puff, Puff is a lot better in doubles, but She's still hindered by some of her general weaknesses, especially dying early. Right. Dude, that's probably... Cool. Yeah, Vestas couldn't quite get the angle on that to get to snap to the ledge. Yeah. Now Frozen's been feeling the pressure from Frozen. Gonna get Sage Mints back safely. Alright. Good Nair. Just pokes out on the Veo, makes it a little harder for her to come back. Ooh. So great. I don't know. So the blue team's kind of in the air right now, trying to land or get something started. But yeah, I think they're more or less in the air because that's where like they feel the safest as a team. Yeah, that's kind of a nasty witch time. Didn't wasn't quite a death, but yeah. but Bezos in a bad position. I think that was a nice little. Oh, he still had to jump. Yeah. Could mix up to recover to avoid Bayonetta's specials blocking the PK Thunder. From Take it back to the stage. That upper will finish up calculus. Yeah. Uh, Vestmas has really, really good, like, uh, baits in. You know, he looks like he's vulnerable and disadvantaged, then he just whips out the up air. Yeah. Completely reversed. Yeah, I feel like if you made a character with kind of an, ob an objectively gimpable recovery, like Falcon or Ness, you've got to be good at mitigating that. Like, for Best Ness, it's being good at all the sorts of angles that you can do with PK Thunder. Um, sometimes turning around, like I saw earlier, he 
actually PK Thunder toward the stage, then pull it back to Pico toward the stage. Like, that's a hard loop to do safely, and he got it just right there, mainly to avoid Calculus' uh, specials. Right. Just like he did there. Ooh. Same basic idea. That's such a smart angle. Really, really difficult to pull off, as you were just saying. <laughs> Takes practice, but it's definitely worth it. Just reminds me kind of how fatality... Like, Falcon is not... Falcon's recovery is not safe, by any means. But Falcon... But Fatality rarely gets edge guarded. He's yeah, very, yeah. very smart off stage with his options. Back from not quite finishing off Sonic there, but very close. Between Town and City and Rage. Both of these characters, to my knowledge, are kind of hard to get in on for Best Essence Frozen, but Doubles yeah. is a little different beast. And especially when you have a lead like this, like even though both those characters are really good at holding advantage of leads, yeah. uh, Sonic is notorious for being not good <laughs> at a pro. Oh my that god, That was kills. interesting. Stalling Sonic Spin Dash. I think it was Spin Dash with Flood and then yeah. burying him out of it. That was... Mario's... Uh, my, I don't... I'm not sure if Mario's top 10 in singles. He might be. He's going to be on the lower end, but he's definitely top 10 in doubles. Definitely one of the best characters in doubles. It's interesting because I know. I don't know about out of region, but I know in region, people think Ness is one of the best uh, doubles players in general. Like doubles characters. Yeah. And, uh, you know, best Ness, yeah, they both show off why yeah. Utah has this opinion. Uh, he's got, I mean, Ness has a lot of explosive kill power. His lack, he's specifically being camped out isn't quite as obvious in doubles when there's so much more going on. His recovery can still be an issue, especially, uh, like, the, there's the, uh, that's probably not what they were hoping for, but, uh, what? I think he was trying to reset his percent before Frozen lost his stock. I think his best is more comfortable against Sonic than Frozen is. Uh -huh. I know that the Mario matchup's really bad for Sonic. Or, er, sorry, Mario match Mario match The Sonic matchup's really bad for Mario. That's what I meant to say. So I'm guessing they wanted Best Nest to be able to come back with a fresh stock. Be safe a bit to beat Valor, I think. Yeah, it kind of threw me off. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I think you're hoping Frozen would stick around there, but not quite enough. That's this big auto cancel aerials can be hard for Sonic to get around sometimes. Mm -hmm. And this is actually, I know between these two in singles, Town and City is one of the most volatile stages because the person in the lead, it just can't platform. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you can't approach Sonic on a platform and Sonic can't approach on a platform. Mm -hmm. so. Now that you see, once it goes back to this more flat FD version, it becomes a lot easier for Valor to get something going. Yeah. Not quite Ooh, finding it. The best thing is not quite finding the up here to kill Valor from it either. Yeah. Well, oh, Valor is making a massive comeback. Very slowly bringing it back. Yeah. Ooh, that's is... almost it. I imagine there must be some slight regret coming in here from like Frozen and Best Ness and their stock splitting. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure back throw will kill at almost any point of the stage. Maybe not from across, but it'll be close. Yeah. Sonic's gotta work a little harder for that kill, but. But he doesn't have to work as hard in the neutral, so. Yeah. It's not, you know. The opportunity will present themselves. Whereas Bethesda has to make the set opportunities. That PK Fair I think could have been punished, but he no such opportunity from Valor there. Yeah, here we go. Here's the classic. Ooh. DBC! Not quite. Oh my god! Breather player. Nair back air trade. This is so close! Cool. Is it. that it? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. You don't see forward or kill from like a, that part of the stage very often, but you kill by the ledge pretty easily. But mm -hmm. oh wow, look at Best Nest's kills! Yeah, kill, kill literally everyone. Kill, took all of the blue team stocks. Oh, that was a that was a quality nail bite. We almost had a timeout in dubs. Going back to town looks like. 
And Best Nuts Frozen looking to 3-0 them. Grams. Make a statement that winner's side shift could happen. I feel like as good as Utah is in singles, I think that they're comparatively, compared to other regions, better than the others. Like, a little bit better in doubles than they are in singles compared to some other regions. Yeah, I can see that. I actually think Utah is pretty weak in singles outside of, like, the top percentile. Yeah, but, that's, uh, I mean, that's true. But, uh, yeah, for sure, in terms of doubles, I think almost everyone has something to do. Because Utah specifically, there's a friendly setup, it's doubles. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> not going to be a single. Bess is putting the pressure on Calculus there. Oh, it's like Puck is trying to turn it back. The best is this guy's out on the platform, avoiding some danger. I think Bess is looking for the back throw here. Bess is kind of a jump situation between the two. Okay, good up. Yeah. Now, if Frozen manages to stay alive, Long enough to deal with this Bayonetta for another stock, because, you know, Sonic's yeah. gonna be the tank. I don't think they should be focusing him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Really good trap. Ooh. Well, Not friendly, <laughs> yeah. Little friendly fire kill there, taking out Frozen. Very nice. Got the dunk out of the down, this down throw. Yep. Another up smash coming out. And this is such a good spot for the red team. You know, they have Bayo up at where it needs to be, and that's the person they're going to be hunting to begin with. Yeah. The witch hunt? Yeah. You know, as a, you know, the character that's a very abusable up smash, I find that Mario's is better for killing, even though it's a little bit weaker, just because it comes out so much faster than Gaming Watches. Yeah. Gaming Watches is easier to, like, stuff things with, but the extra... Oh. The speed that Mario's has is very helpful. Frozen so dirty. He used the platform reset to actually trap Bayo up at the blast zone. I don't think, you know, when you look at a Bayo at that percent, that's not how you think it's going to go out. No. Frozen I, doesn't care. I mean, that's something that every character is susceptible to. Yeah. And now the red team's got a solid lead, taking out that nice. Well, not quite as solid as I thought, but <laughs> it's still solid. Yeah. Uh, it's still that, reasonable. That heel slide mix up where you don't do the second hit and death smash, it's actually pretty hard to react to. Yeah. Honestly, oh, oh. That, will, that will finish off calculus. Frozen <laughs> is popping the hell off. Like, I, he's definitely the MVP of this game. He's gotten so yeah. many just kills just from his like pure positional awareness. Ooh. Dollar, tried, Dollar escaped, but there's still going to pressure on him there. And now you have Sonic pinched between two characters. It's, uh... That's probably... Oh, very nice DI to get out of that. Yeah. Oh, oh it runs a little bit too far. Oh, they're, they're looking for the swag. Yeah, they want... They, the, they do have three stocks to work with. And they want the team kill. Yeah. But, I mean, they're, they're willing to take just a victory, too. Oh, my. That was uh, some of the weirdest reverse hitboxes I've actually seen. <laughs> he he ran past, down tilt tripped him from behind, and then grabbed him from behind. Him. Yeah, pretty whack. But very, very, very. Congratulations very. to Bestness and Frozen.